do a little lesson on raising pipe over a piece over an object. In this case, we got duct. Um, we're using AutoCAD MEP 09. Um, I still think the easiest way to do this is to break the pipe. And I'll show you a couple different ways. You can break the pipe here, right at your object, and right where you want to clear it. Drag this back a little bit. Run this back through the duct and come over here and we'll measure it. So we want to know what the bottom of this is to the top of the, the duct. We're going to go over top of it. Okay, so we're 11, 31, so we're, we're 12 inches. We need to go up 12 with some clearance. Let's go 14. Let's go 16. We're going to move 0, 0, 0. 16 enter enter and of course it rises up then you come back over here and you can reconnect and it's going to ask you for an elbow in this case we're using butt welded and you got 45 you can do next and it'll give you 11 and a half which I got mine set up to do and 45 that's it so we'll keep it at 45 we'll click accept and there you go. And we come over here and we put it. Add selected. We'll put a tag on it. Click OK. So we're bottom at 12 foot, which was 4 inches right above that thing. That's perfect. Now, if you want to come back down, just take this, copy, come over here, go 3D rotate. 180 degrees and just connect it. And you're back. And that's it. Man, that's the that's I like, guess the fastest and easiest way to do it. Um, and you could drag these back, get them a little tighter. Probably the easiest way is to just leave those right about there, and then they won't be too tight on the edges. Oh, it depends on how tight your jobs are. Um, it, there's another way to do this. And you can take, come in here, go to this, go rise, run, right? Uh, we could say 45, enter, and we're going to come up, go back to zero, enter, and then you can just put a tag on it, and selected, click OK, 13.2. Now you come over here and you know do your math, figure out what you want. We were at 12.4, I believe. 12 foot four, and yet change the elevation. Click OK. The bottom of the pipe is 11.11, so we want to go up two more inches. Six. Okay. And that's perfect. Bottom of the pipe is twelve two. And I guess we were right the first time. Um or pipe, excuse me. Let me see if there's anything else I could show you. Um well let's go into that uh modified pipe since they've taken out that little dialog box which I liked and they put everything in the properties they have given us this modified pipe um, you can come in here and you can do you can change your routing your your pipe type or pipe flavor have you will um, you can change it to flanged 
Let's see here what we got. But well, the generic flanged, and you can change the size. You can change the system type. As well, the supply, and then there you, there's your elevation. You can click OK. You can't hit Enter. I guess. And it changed it all. Now you have to watch out when you're using this elevation thing because it won't. It only it, it'll change elevations on the rise and the run on this side of the pipe if you're over here, and if you're on this side of your pipe here, it won't change the whole thing. Um, so if you've got a long run you're doing, it'll only go up to wherever you you have a rise or a drop. Then you'll have to come in here and modify it after the drop or the rise. Um, let me see, what else is there? Alright, just one more thing I wanted to add to this video, uh, might as well do it in this routing pipe video, um, is on how to route um, pipe at odd angles. Um, I know we used to buy a lot of lattice butt wheel fittings at 11 and a half and 22 and a half degrees. Um, it's pretty simple, I mean, just Let's go in here. We'll get some piping. And you can preset this thing too. I'll show you just a quick way to do it. Uh, you run out here. And you can reset your your, your uh, compass there. But the best way to do it is just come in here. Oh, that's the ribbon. And we will go rise run. And we'll change that to routing line. No, we'll change that to rise run, excuse me, I'm sorry. And we'll go 11.5, enter, and you can go up 11.5, and it'll ask you for that. We're going to go generic butt weld, and then we'll go back to zero, and get rid of that ribbon. And we'll come back here and go back to zero. And you can go like that. And there you go. You got yourself an 11 and a half degree thing. Actually, it's going to say it's 12, but it is 11 and a half. So it says it's 12, but it is 11 and a half. And if you just wanted to rotate it, you could rotate it. If you needed it on its side. Um, you can also go into your pipe descriptions up in here and you can change your uh, your um, default settings um, I'm going to do a video and show you how to build pipe a piping system and I will put that into there um, I've got to kind of refresh my memory on how to do it but uh, and then, then you'll be able to just automatically run everything at 11.5 and, and 22. All right, hope that helps.